To understand quantum mechanics, we have to first understand how time is being created and the part we play in its creation. Because of this, I have come up with my own theory called quantum atom theory. In quantum atom theory, the wave particle duality of light creates time itself. Time is being created continuously by electron photon couplings. When a quantum particle wave function of light makes contact with an electron on the surface of an atom, there is a photon electron coupling and a quantum leap of energy. At that moment, the particle wave function collapses into a new photon particle of light, creating a new moment in time. Two-dimensional space on the surface of that atom expands into three-dimensional space-time as a new expanding particle wave function of light. When this particle wave function comes in contact with the electrons of another object, the process will repeat itself again, creating a new moment in time and a particle wave function of future possibilities. This is a continuous process within our universe called stimulated emissions. In quantum atom theory, this process also creates the time continuum, or arrow of time. Any object, object that comes in contact with the particle wave function will collapse it. But because the observer can choose when and where to collapse the wave function, we have free will to create our own future. The wave particle duality of light, or electromagnetic radiation, is continuously creating a blank canvas for the observer that she or he can participate in. This is what Socrates called a sea of beauty. In this theory, there is no absolute or universal time because atoms create their own time relative to their position and momentum. When there is a photon-electron coupling, there is a delay factor. This is why light travels slower through water and time runs slower through a gravitational field. The greater the mass or energy of an object, the larger or more rapid the particle wave function collapse. This will increase the number of photon-electron couplings, increasing the delay factor, and time will slow down relative to an, to an observer in the object's own created space-time or reference frame. The individual observer is the only true reference frame because they are creating their own time and space relative to their own position and momentum. This can explain why light is so beautiful when it strikes an object. It is because we are looking at a mo moment of pure creation of time and space. It can also explain why light is a constant, independent of the motion of the source. There will be no variation in the speed of light because time is being created continuously at the same rate that light moves. This theory is very simple, but I think it is also very beautiful. In this theory we have the choice to create our own reality within the dynamically evolving universe of Einstein and quantum mechanics and, and the classical mechanics of Newton are united.